And there we go. Whew. I've got all four carbon wheels on the back of the Ford Raptor R. If you haven't seen the last video, well, yeah, it's been a nightmare. Um, our wheels are damaged. They have been uh, really uh, deteriorating through each tire change that we are doing. Let me get into the truck and follow up with you guys shortly. Here we go. Getting out. Watch this. <laughs> Oh, not to close it. <laughs> this all started so far back, I think it was December, when all this first kicked off. It's been months and months of trying to figure this out, and I hope hopefully today's the day it, it gets resolved for this Corvette, because none of this sh should have happened at all. This is it, we have made it. Now, uh, this is a dealership that uh, said that they have the new wheels. Here we are, pulling up. I'm gonna pull right here in the left and I catch up and, and see what, what's all happening, what's on the game plan. Okay, as you can see here, everything uh, stayed still perfectly on the uh, blanket. So I was told new wheels came in, and I also believe, from what I understand now, they will no longer work on my car anymore. Uh, the, I need an alignment, just all I said was I want new replacement wheels, right? And I don't think they're paying for it. I think it's being paid for by Chevy. I'm gonna get confirmation by that too. So this this is a Z06 customer experience right here. Whoa. Look at that, carbon revolution. Specifications, GM, Australia. All right, let's roll these over and inspect and unbox the new carbon fiber wheels. Unboxing carbon fiber wheels <laughs> made in Australia. Is that, wait, is Australia the Kiwi one? No, or that's, that, that's New Zealand. That's yeah. New Zealand. That's the front wheels. So you see the... And the rear. The foam on the top of the box. Okay, let's get a peek inside. So that's what the inside of the box looks like. They got styrofoam on either side. Unboxing carbon fiber wheels. <laughs> You should lift it straight up. Should I shift this or... Yeah, let's try that. So I wonder how they come from the, like, to the factory. You think it's similar to this? It might be. <laughs> All right, guys, first look. Carbon fiber wheels, fully exposed. The finish looks amazing. Look at that. Look how amazing that looks, guys. Brand new, straight from Australia. The next part is I gotta get this completely protected uh, for transport to get the new uh, tire mounted. Um, so that's gonna be the next step for sure in the process. But yeah, I think I'll do that. Start getting these transported into the truck and check out the last three wheels so we can figure out the, the final steps. Last side shots, just for some footage. Really interesting seeing the structure because you have different compounds during each part of the, the process of building these. More cool shots of the wheels. So here is the uh, another front wheel completely opened up from the box. On the inside we have the uh, TPMS sensor mounted right there and then you have different compounds molded together. See the front and exposed weave on it. Looks pretty good to my eye, but I guess I can take a closer look once I get it to the uh, the, the pickup truck. One interesting thing to point out with the carbon wheels though, is that coming on the back side, I noticed this with mine, do you see these areas that are discolored? They kind of turn grayish if not white from certain camera angles right there. You get that all over the back side. You can see inside, fully white. And on my car, all that thermal coating on the inside is turned black with brake dust over time. So this gives you optimum cooling. I understand. Yeah. Final unboxing for the final carbon fiber wheel. The knockoff from yeah. <laughs> I'm surprised it's all the covering they really put on these. But I guess it's a wheel. I think it's a two-piece that they connect. Grand finale lifts up a carbon fiber wheel. And uh, it's light, but it is big. So it's an interesting combination. So it doesn't weigh 
like nothing, but it, it's definitely the lightest weight wheel you can get for 13 inch wide dimension. So brand new with the white coating, straight off the uh, sh showroom floor. Okay, so right now we are literally walking around with pure carbon fiber wheels. Now, the fronts are definitely lighter than the back. <laughs> Much skinnier. You use the 275 versus a uh, 345. But look at that weed glistening in the sun. If you are a car show fanatic, I think you're gonna love these wheels because, hey, it, it looks beautiful. I do think, though, for the multiple uses, having a weed like this, it, it's just so unique for a wheel of a car. And I, I'm pretty shocked at how it looks again, new. <laughs> <laughs> and I bet you didn't see this one coming. Yep, I have put a carbon fiber wheel in the back seat of the Ford Raptor R. The Raptor R is saving the day with us over here. Uh, and I have to put these wheels inside the car and wrap them up, obviously. Uh, it's not, not being damaged. It's all, all looking good. Don't worry there. Uh, so the game plan is I got to protect these and I can't put the tires on it right now because the dealer doesn't want to mount tires. They, they don't want, I think the liability uh, is too high from what I understand. They said try to call somewhere else. That means that I have to take these wheels somewhere else and then find out if we, I can get them mounted. They're pulling off our current tires and uh, I guess I'm just taking them with me. Okay, so <laughs> this one, next shot, got it completely facing you. 345 wide tires fit this wheel. This is probably the most crazy unboxing wheel video on the internet. We're not unboxing normal mod wheels that are forged and um, mono block. I don't know the code words they use. This is all exposed carbon fiber, okay? But walking to the Raptor, it's it getting heavier, okay? It, it really is. They're so special, I just don't, don't want to damage them. Finally, since it took a while, but uh, Chevy, Chevy came through with this one and we, we were all set. Uh, they gave us new uh, caps and middles. Then they also gave us uh, lug nuts. So we have lug nuts, center caps, and then four carbon fiber wheels unboxed. I just arrived to another Chevrolet dealership. I'm wondering what they're gonna say. Hopefully they say yes, so we can move on <laughs> with our lives. Uh, let's see if they've ever worked on a Z06 before, a carbon wheel version. Let's just see what happens. Okay, so very, very, very nice people here. Um, the main guy was actually really cool about it, but he felt like he was in the same boat because the dealers are not prepared for this type of task. He compared it to like getting a McLaren, he's like, it's like a McLaren now at a Chevy dealer. It just, he said, even for their auto revolution, he would feel nervous for his team members to do it. I'm stuck in a situation now where the dealer wants nothing to do with it. They got me the wheels uh, and it's up to me to find out how to get everything solved. I'm just shocked because I, I can't find anyone who can, can just do it. I don't know what to do. <laughs> All right, here we are. Just made it to Rancho Santa Fe Cars and Coffee. First Cars and Coffee yet for the uh, Raptor R. Yes. I'm a bit in a bind right now when it comes to the Z06. I didn't think that dealerships would want to work on it, but I have to figure something out because I have a car that's immobile. The, the wheels are just sitting there. I couldn't take the boxes back either because the boxes, uh, they had to keep them because if I took them back, they said Chevy would charge them. <laughs> so I have uh, bare carbon wheels in my house. They I, I, I don't I don't know what to do. I'm actually pretty surprised I got a parking spot over here because this truck is just so, so massive but the cameras the 360 degree cameras really helped me with that job. Luckily this car is mobile right now though and so is the McLaren. Oh they're both in the same collection. Yeah they're both owned by the same person. Carbon fiber wheels. <laughs> that rings a bell doesn't it? Cherry did a great job putting them on. It's just the framework is the next concern they have to worry about. There's a really amazing McLaren 720S just hanging out. And uh, yeah, with the new car coming in, I cannot wait because I'm just such a big fan of the 720S. 750S, it is going to be a, a welcome next level jump in terms of lap time potential and speed. It's just the design of the 720s's and 750, 765, all of them. The way they've done it, there's no intakes. It just looks like pure art. Everything is 
about the flow of air, the body lines. For the grand finale of this video, welcome to Chick-fil-A. <laughs> now we're not sponsored by Chick-fil-A yet. We know we know the people at Chick-fil-A. So maybe, hey guys, hit us up. I want to make something very crystal clear. This is nothing to do with Chevy on their end. I think Chevy does a great job. I, I like their team. It just this is something that I have to talk about because I can't find a location that'll even put a tire on, put the tires on. I keep calling the Chevrolet dealerships and nothing is working. I don't know what we're going to do. If you have any insight on this, please let me know. The problem is, is that Chevrolet dealerships have no experience with the Z06 and the ones around here I keep talking to, they're almost like afraid of doing it because the liability, it's just too high. Please let me know what do you think we should do. We're not on anyone's side here. I'm simply sharing my experience and the world only gets better with feedback. Please, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. Hope you enjoyed unboxing. $20,000 wheels. <laughs> uh, subscribe, hit the like button, and comment down below again. I'll see all of you in the next uh, episode of The Adventure. Let's get some Chick-fil-A.